Hey, it's Underpath Productions, and I thought I would do something a little bit different. I think I should just start, like, um, I don't know. I just want to draw, like, warrior cats specifically throughout their life. So I'll just read the w- Wikipedia thing for that. So, yeah, so I'll start reading it. Um, so Rotel is a sturdy, slender, dappled, turtle she-shell and white cheek cat with amber eyes, a soft tail, and a white chest and paws. Sorrelter was a Thunderclan warrior under Firestar's leadership in the forest and the lake territories. She was known as Sorrelkit to Willapelt and Whitestorm, along with her brothers Rainkit and Sudkit. As a kit, she followed Darkstripe when he snuck out of Thunderclan's camp to speak to, with Blackfoot to, of Shadowclan. To keep her quiet, he tempted her to eat deathberries. She was saved by Cinderpelt and made a full recovery. She became an apprentice named Sorrelpaw and was given and was given Sandstorm as a mentor. When Sandstorm left with Firestar on the on a journey. Dustbelt became her temporary mentor. Her warrior ceremony was held back after she was injured by a monster. However, she recovered eventually and was renamed to Sorrelto. She and Brackenfur became mates, and during her kidding, Badgers attacked Thunderclan's camp, and her brother po- and, and her brother Sutfer was killed, and C- Cinderpelt died while helping her. She gave birth to Poppyfrost, Molepaw, Honey P- Honeyfern, and Cinderheart. She and Brackenfur later went on to have a second litter consisting of Lilyheart and Seedpaw. During the Great Battle, she defended the nursery but died of her wounds. She joined Starclan was present at the leadership ceremony of Bramblestar. So yeah, I thought this was pretty cool. So. I don't know. I just decided to depict some, like, certain events that would happen because, you know, sometimes I believe that Warriors kind of glosses over, like, different events that Warriors went through, I guess, in their lives. So, obviously, her fond memories of White Storm with she was a kit with her mother, and then we have Dark Stripe um, feeding her her death berries, and she trying to recover with Cinderpelt, and then we have also uh, a picture when she got hit in the accident, and um, Cinderpelt was there to help her. So I thought that was um, kind of cool because Cinderpelt was obviously like she was hit by she was hit by a monster and then um, she didn't make a recovery and had to become a medicine cat and I think that Sorrel Paw was really good for her to get out of that because and also um, Sand Sam Storm was her mentor and it was made like a big thing at the end of the like the first great battle like in the beginning of the series it was like oh I wish I have um, Sorrel Kit as like my apprentice and he was like yeah it's pretty cool but then she just kind of left when her journey with Firestar. And then she was stuck with Dustpelt, but it, I think she was fine afterwards. Like, obviously she was sad because I think she made a really good bond with Sandstorm. And then, um, you know, she had to leave after that. But then I think she was, she had a really good bond with Dustpelt too. Because I think that, like, warriors and, like, you know, you know, everyone should, like, a thing that should be have real emphasis on is, like, mentors and apprentice. I think that'd be really cool. And, like, also, I think that Sorrel, um... Sorrelltail had like nightmares after she ate the death berries because she was so close to death and she was so scared and I think that maybe she could have been like I guess more overprotective you know to her kits when then then they're in the nursery because she's like hey don't leave out of camp and don't go near strange warriors because like you know I don't want you dying of death berries and then yeah obviously she became Sorrelltail and was a friend was like at her warrior center already with Firestar but then also um I think that since Sandstorm was so close to her as, like, a mentor, I think she became, like, an older sister to Leafpaw because of the age difference. Like, the best friend thing is kind of cool, but, like, I think I've always thought of it as, like, an older sibling kind of a thing, like, you know, watching out for her. And, um, you know, and I think that'd be kind of cool. And then, uh, ob- and then another one where she becomes, uh, mates with Brackenfur, obviously, they're being cuddly, and they're like, oh, I love you, and stuff. And I think that he would help her through her nightmares and stuff like that and show her that he really loves her. And, um, because I would think that Sorrel Tail would have, like, trust issues after that. And then she also, um, she lost her son, Mol- Molepaw, like, uh, when he was just an apprentice, and that was obviously detrimental to her, you know? She was like, oh, did- oh, good, oh, goodness gracious, you know? And obviously, yeah, that'd be kind of sad to her to, like, have a development on, and then, obviously, and then she also gets, uh, she, what's, what you might call it? She gets a uh, fox sleep as her apprentice because um, Sandstorm actually left, and sh- not Sandstorm, Squirrelfly actually left, so she had to take care of him. And that's like one, that's her like only apprentice, which is like you know, I guess she would be she would be a better mentor to more other apprentices. But I think you know that's just her makeup thing. Even though she was he was only half her apprentice, which is kind of cool because it's like a dual thing because Sandstorm left and um, she had to be apprenticed to Dustbell, and she was doing the same thing except it was a Squirrelfly. Yeah, and then, um, uh, there's another picture where, um, Cinderpelt is defending her in the nursery when she just gave birth, and obviously, I think she'd feel upset, because I think that Cinderpelt would be a really close bonded with her, because she was in the, she was in the medicine cat down for serious injuries, not once, but twice, 
and um, I think that she'd be really sad that it might have been her fault, and obviously she'd be really happy that one of her kids looks like her and name her after her, like Cinder, Cinder Heart, you know, and so that'd be, you know, cool. And then there's another dual thing, because she actually dies while protecting the nursery in the great battle with um, Bright Heart behind her and her two kits uh, behind her as well, so, you know. And then, um, yeah, and then Brackenford would be really sad over her body, and then obviously her and Star Clan at Bramble Claws Warrior Ceremony. I also, uh, what else would I have liked to draw? I would have liked to draw her, um, oh, what you call it? Uh, I can't really remember at the moment. What is it? Oh, um, her, um, seeing, um, Cinderheart as Cinderpelt later on into her warriorship and everything like that. And, you know, maybe seeing her kids grow up, she'd, like, be really happy. And, you know, because Brightheart took care of her two kids as well. Like, um, Lily, Lilyheart and, um, Seedpot, you know. I'd be like, oh, cool, I like you too, and thanks for taking care of my kids, you know, in Starkland. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this, uh, thing. I hope you guys like this kind of format, because I, I like it a lot.